all I got to say is that prologue was fantastic. I, she was, she had a hard life and knew, well, didn't uh, know. She told, used words, and she's told how lives work, especially in the industry. Just like the director, he's, he was a favorite character in this Laying it out how it is. Because I've seen someone talk about uh, the whole thing about either too cute for certain roles or stuff like that in entertainment industry. So stuff like that do really be happening. And that... I knew the stalker was going to come back into play. But I didn't know. I was thinking, is the stalker the father or just a big fan? But the fact that, because she could tell lies, but she couldn't, but she still had the naiveness to blurt stuff out to, to agree and was forgetful. But she was sweet and really was looking for something more, a truth, basically a truth. And they still don't know that he's, she, uh, the two, the twins still don't know that they knew each other. They'll, they'll probably bring it up or find, figure it out, but for now it's not the most important thing. But the struggles that she had when, with her old body, what she's going to be able to do now, or what he's planning to do, because it was true. He shouldn't have known that she's at the hospital, even if it's a super fan and with the internet and all that, or that she lived there. Only person. Because the manager and stuff wouldn't have done that. That wouldn't make no sense. The only person that would have known is the father. Now, I hope he gets his, what he deserves. Don't make it quick either. Because he wanted her dead. Because he told the stalker twice. Once was the hospital. He had to. And told him again, knowing what he's gonna do. But the expressions, the, the emotionalness, the, the animation under the eyes just really showed how strong the feelings were. From especially that last scene where she's dying, that, that was incredible. And his face, though, when he was coming up with figuring the stuff out, and he's like, Oh, this is going to be my revenge story. And her daughter still wanted to, Ruby, still wanted to become an idol. But what they were saying about fans, though, especially fans of idols and stuff, is the truth. Though. They do feel entitled and mad at you. If they find out you a boyfriend or whatever, whatever, because you're a woman and they feel like you belong to them when you don't, and then write all these nasty things. And being famous is an excuse. Some people fall into that trap. And forget, like, people are still people. This is a job. They're still people at the end of the day. That was fantastic. I can't wait to see the next part.